Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and the audio development framework from Espressive and just play around with the new arrived Lyra T board. And I can now play a little bit with audio. I just compiling some examples with the ESP ADF and playing around with the speech recognition and also playing MP3 file direct on the ESP32 to the audio output. And here we have the schematic for the Lyra T board. We have the CP2102, the USB to UART converter and charge circuit and it's using this AP5056 LiPo battery charger module as you see. This is nearly the same circuit we see on the Lyra board. We also have this two green and red charging LEDs. This is here and also connection to the battery and we can use the 5 volt rail from the USB port to charge the battery and otherwise we can use the battery power up the ESP32. And for the main power supply we use this LD1117 5 volt maybe to 3.3 volt output and then we power up the ESP32 Vroom module or the ESP32 Vroover module in our case. Of course on my Lyra T board there's the Vroover module soldered. And for the I2S protocol we use this ES8388 chip that's on the Lyra module I show you next and then and we have also different kind of outputs and inputs like the outputs for the speakers or for the microphones and here you see the board and the Ruva module and also the powering and the charging circuit and in the center of the board there's the ES8388 I2S audio codec chip and this is how I get my ESP32 Lyra T board. I get it from AliExpress and I say, oh, see, there's a special offer for 15 euro or 20 euro and 24 and so on. You can choose the vendor you like. And to prepare the software, I have first download the, the ESP IDF if you not already have this and just watch my other videos for the ESP IDF. So we just get the newest version from the ESP IDF and as you see already up to date. And then I go to the ADF path and as you see I just use a sub path in my ESP directory and also get the news news version sure you have to download this and also get the extensor compiler and so on but you already have this if you use the idf as a development platform so the esp adf is just an add-on and after this we can start with just an example and i copied this play mp3 example from Espressive and we just do make menu config and we set up some variables. Maybe we don't have to change this. I have this ESP32 Lyra T version 4.3 board. So if you have a different board and the Lyra TD MCS board, then you have to switch this and we can use this other settings for the speech recognition or what I use is the other baud rate for the serial flasher. So and then we make our examples maybe I use nine background tasks on my system and as you see we can make clean and then just compile again so you can see all my compiling output on my board. So next step is to flash the example to our board and we can also use make flash monitor so we can see. So now it's okay.
So fortunately my boards don't have an auto reset so I will have to do it manually. So press the boot button and then reset and then we can upload our so after a while then also press the reset button and you can hear the sound so i simulate this my headphone and press it on my microphone so you can hear the output from the esp32 <laughs> So, and if you want to listen again, we have to press the reset button again. That's it. And now just a little bit playing around with the speech recognition example. And I surely don't have any experience talking Chinese. So please forgive me if I totally misspell all the Chinese words. But it's good enough for the speech recognition. <laughs> so it's a little bit fun. Bo Fang. Chatting. Ying Ying. Bofang, chatting, ying ying, guan bi ding gang, di kai di deng, di kai diang deng, chatting, ying ying, ai li ching. I listen. I listen. Da kai dai deng. Wan bi ding deng. So thanks for watching and enjoying this video. You can do me a favor and just like or subscribe to my channel. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.